the Valley Children's Stadium, everyone, the home of the Fresno State Bulldogs. And for a team whose mantra is anytime, any place, anywhere, it's always good to be home. And these fans have shown up for the clash we have ahead of us. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the Utah State Aggies taking on the Fresno State Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Fresno State will kick it off and we will be underway. Looks like he's going to try to return it. And the coverage team able to make the... Receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. On second down, they'll take to the air. Using the quick game. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Utah State comes to the line with a first and ten. On the move, it's Briggs. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend, don't break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long, but players like that are getting after him. This is a third and long. Looking to throw 
Oh, and he needs a chunk play. Their pass not closes. He got thrilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. I wouldn't quite call it a shank, but that's not exactly going to go on the resume reel. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. He just got rid of that one to save the down, didn't see anything he liked. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Stuffed, almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Fresno State right back to the line. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Slides away. Got out of trouble and throws. Fire into the right complete. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Now, fourth down. That's the end of the first quarter. And after one, we're tied 0-0. Zero, zero. So we're scoreless, their first drive of the game, and this coach is wasting no time taking a gamble by going for it on fourth down in his own territory. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Finds his man and they convert. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the court. He'll off one deep down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Looking to throw it again. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down coming. Wow, you usually don't get that wide open in the end zone. If that ball comes in like that, that's a play the receiver has just got to be able to make for his team. They'll try the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. To the air. It's Keane. Fires into the end zone. And that pass is intercepted. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The screen always seems so easy until you find all of that traffic right in front, Jesse. Yeah, and we see so many screens in college football these days. The ball getting spit out quickly. I think more and more defenses, Reese, today are just expecting it. They're practicing against it all week leading up to games. You can tell this defense well-versed right now in how to stop these types of plays. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away.
he gets it away from his own end zone. Boy, that seemed to be prime return territory. Instead, he'll make the fair catch. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right, on this drive. You did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close, and when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them, and guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Starting to feel a little pressure. Gets rid of it. Working that left side now. Finds a crease at the 20. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seventh. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Coming after it. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. Quick strike complete. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. And they'll try it again after getting nothing on second down. It's third and goal from the three. DBs lock up tight on the receivers. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Third and short, I have no problem with RPO because I can run it or I can throw it if I see something opening. Maybe he should have ran that one. You got two downs possibly to still try to make it happen, but he definitely didn't throw an accurate ball. I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I tell you what, keep that passing game up, keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. It bounds through the back of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here. Fires into traffic, intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball. Throws toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Yeah, and that's nice coverage. He's taking a shot, trying to throw the ball to the end zone. Maybe put that thing up a little bit higher where his guy can go up and make a play and come down. But a nice job by the defender just getting his fingertip on the top of the football. And the defense gets to the quarterback. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. The pass is incomplete, and there are two ticks remaining on the clock. QBs and receivers on third down. Everything has to happen just a split second sooner. 
You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit. Just not on the same page with his target. Just enough time for one final play in this half. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Complete out of the backfield. Utah State about to kick it off to open the second half. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and, and play more game. coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, Then You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well. So you have to know where your answers are. This guy can throw it. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And Fresno State right back to the line. And, uh, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense, or, listen, you can spin a... Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Didn't really get a chance to get started on that return, but he has set him up at the 41-yard line. And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching it. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it off. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, and something can start to build. He looks that one in nicely. Still running at the 40. Afterburner's coming. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Utah State. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. The kick is good, but the penalty flag indicates we've got a roughing the kicker call coming. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. A first down for the offense. Here we go, here we go. Wide out in motion. Looking to throw, it's Keen. Let's it fly. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. That's number two. That's a good year for a lot of people. What a day. Having two interceptions already. I might try my hand on the other guy. This guy is not somebody I want to mess with. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple here. 
Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great the tackle for a loss on first down. They'll run it from the gun. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Now facing a third and long. Quarterback checking the play. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. Fair catch, called for and made. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Throwing the comeback looks like such a simple throw, but the timing is so important. And as a quarterback, man, this is all about trusting your guy. You know exactly where he's going to sit it down. You anticipate it. You throw it. You know he's going to come back. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? Got a good one going here. All tied up in the third. It's second and ten. Hand off from the shotgun. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. Fresno State right back to the line. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Jukes his way for more. The offense with a major gamble here, going for it inside their own 40. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Spits it out to the back. Complete, out of the backfield, looking for the sticks. And they make the tackle, but it'll be enough for a first down, and we'll see if they get another playoff here in the third. Fresno State moving it quickly down the field. Let's go! Let's go! From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to pass. It's Keem. They're bringing heat. Going to try to get it himself. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive. He lobs one high down the left side. He caught it! Touchdown, Fresno State! They've got the lead here in the fourth. What a massive play for the offense. And sometimes when you're calling it deep in your own end, you're expecting man coverage or at least the one-on-one -on -one to the outside of the field. And that's what they had. The quarterback put air under it. The receiver shows off his speed. They make the catch. And it's not just a big first down. It's a touchdown. That is a momentum-changing play. He'll bring it out. It's Briggs. 
powers through. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really. And he'll be knocked down at the two-yard line. Well, the offense got themselves into trouble. They're back in their own end. It's an obvious passing situation. So the defense is just pinning their ears back, and they're trying to get after him. They could not allow him to escape, step up, get rid of the football. They take a sack very close to the goal line. From his end, a lot of room to throw downfield. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. The defense coming out to protect the lead, but this offense still has plenty of time. Likely their final drive. They'll try to get the first through the air. Setting up the screen. On the move at the 30. Got a lot of running room. And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock as the offense moves closer, trying to pull it out. Come on, defense. you got to do a better job tackling in the middle of the field. You've got the lead. You know they're going to try to get out of bounds and save clock. you just got to tackle that guy. Someone's got to be able to bring him down, but they couldn't get it done. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. You're seeing a lot of confidence out of this quarterback now. Three for three on this two-minute drive. He understands that he needs to step up if his team's going to win this game. And he's playing his best football right now. On second down, wants to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. This late in the game, fourth quarter, go time. We gotta make plays. We gotta go to those things that really, really work well. We can't waste too many more downs. I know it's third down coming up, but we gotta put this thing in full throttle. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. They're trying to get to it. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. You know, I think in this situation of the game, too, if I'm this guy, I'm thinking the same thing, right? I'm throwing and getting yards, and if it's not there, I'm going to take this game over myself with my legs. We're in the fourth quarter. We've got an opportunity, one possession down, to get back in this thing. I just got to do whatever I got to do to make that happen. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, they don't pick up the first down there, but in this two-minute situation, they need their quarterback to be decisive, to be accurate, and make really good decisions. And we'll see what he's able to do as they inch closer and closer towards the goal line. On second down, he'll fire. He makes the connection. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And the Aggies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Easy. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. On second down, looking to throw. Release to the back. He makes a grab. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. They'll run it on first and goal. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. 
Timeout called by the defense, and the clock is stopped with 18 seconds left. Heftiness coming out on the goal line. Pushes ahead. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? If they can pay off this third and goal opportunity, man, oh man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. They get the timeout called. 11 seconds remaining to play. And this could prove to be the biggest play of the game. They'll go for it on fourth and goal. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. He's looking to throw. And the pass is caught for a touchdown. And it looks as if we could be headed to overtime. And they desperately needed that touchdown. Now it's miracle time. We got to kick this onside kick and somehow find a way to boot a long field goal and maybe win this thing at the buzzer. Just an extra point away from a tie ball game right before the half. Timeout is called and the clock is down to eight. Timeout, Fresno State. The extra point can tie it up, headed to halftime. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. in the formation on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And another Fresno State. We'll get it started here in overtime. Looking to go up top on first down. Quarterback floating away from pressure. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for an open man on second down. If he houses this, it's ball game. Didn't really have room to operate on the return, but he hands him the ball at the 32. First down, and they'll win it with any kind of score here in overtime. Here we go, here we go. They move the tight end all over. Hand off from the gun. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Fresno State right back to the line. Trying to impose their will with the run. Brought down after a five-yard gain down to the seven. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Motion from the offense. The give from the gun. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense.
third down now and putting anything on the board will make them a winner here in OT. Direct snap. Really tough run there. He got four. That'll leave him a yard short on fourth down. They'll set up for this chip shot that would win the game. Defense will call a timeout. They got a peek at the formation. Want to make sure they're in the right call on this big down here in overtime. Here comes the field goal unit, and they can win it with a chip shot. And he drops the curtain. Lights out. Game-winning field goal in overtime. This is one of the best games we've called this season. A thriller, and it comes down to the wire here in overtime. I could watch these two teams play another six times this year, just back and forth, trading blows, offenses coming up with explosive plays, big hits all over the field. David, this is what college football is all about. No doubt. I love your excitement. Where's the defensive mentions? Some good defense out there, too, there, homeboy. I know it's not just offenses that get you excited. Some defensive plays, too. Nip and tuck the whole game. Decide in overtime. Crushing loss. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.